welcome to day 12 of our January challenge 2018 and Wendy Stewart's piece. We're on to our one, two, three, four, five, sixth day on this one. And we're going to complete that original Manavu melody line now. Um, so what I'll play for you today is actually yesterday's learning and today's so that you hear how it fits together. So I'm starting playing now back in bar 25. Here we go. as well with that same ending. Okay, so let's have a look at it. Um, yesterday we had and I'm just not going to play that last G, that's now going to come with the top hand arriving here. So those two have got to land together so we'll work on fitting that in. So the right hand is going to play A, G, you have a couple of options. You can either place A, G and put your finger three on the air and then pop your thumb back onto the A and play that chord with one and three. Or you can just wobble back onto the A, A, G and let finger two open up to the black for the F and A there. I think I will probably play it A with the wobble A, G and then put the F on. I think that's most likely what I would do when playing it at speed. Um, so it goes A, G, F and A, and then a move, B, C, okay? I was sort of umming and ahhing about different options whereby you ended up playing that last bit with three and four on the F and A and to have your B, C already placed. It just doesn't work at speed. Um, it's quite an awkward thing and you don't end up playing the three and four together. So I think just allow yourself to play with the wobble A, G and then jump. And just be really sort of strong in your jump and really confident in that jump. It's only a jump to the next note up, but for your finger two, your finger two was on the black and now it's going up to the B just below the red. So B, C. Okay, so it goes A, G. As I play that thumb, I'm also going to get my finger two back on the B as well for my next bit. Then you'll see in the music there's a couple of grace notes there um, which are out of time. They come before the beat of the note that they're leading to. So a couple of options on fingering here. What you've got is five notes in a row. C, B, A, G, F in that final bar there is the F. Um, I am naturally drawn to doing a thumb slide. So if I'm really secure, I might get my two, three, four placed. So my four is on the black, three above it, A above it, one finger two. Thumb is on the red, it slides to the B. And then before I play my back F, I'm gonna get my thumb on the G and then open out either side of the red with fingers two and three for that final chord. Okay. So that's one option. Like that. Um, another option there is to go one, two, three, one, two. So you end up with a finger two on the black. So one, two, three in a row from the C. C, B, A, thumb on the G. So the thumb's got to go over. Okay, so you can choose which feels more comfortable. The thumb slide definitely feels quite nice going to there. You've just got to feel comfortable then playing that four on the F, even though your thumb is right next to it on the G. Um, that definitely feels more comfortable if you've got a lovely gap between where your thumb is on the strings and where your finger is. If you've ended up like this with your thumb really low, that's going to feel really awkward. But if you've done and your thumb just goes on where it is up there, a couple of inches above, couple of choices on the fingering there. Okay, let's put it back into time. So I'm going to go now from the last beat of bar 26, today's new learning, and I'll play it through for you. I'll count in so you can join in if you want or just follow it along to get to grips with it first. One, 
two, three. those grace notes to be quite late just before the beat and it's just before that fourth beat okay um so i'm gonna look at the left hand now because fitting that in as well helps with the timing so we yesterday the last bar had a c one of those the octave and the fifth jumping down to a g one of those the next one is an F one of those, but it's not right next door. It's almost an octave higher. So it's a jump up, but it is to colored strings, black, red, black. And we play F, C, F. Now playing my left hand on its own, I can get that placed like I've been doing the others. But if we put the practicality in of the fact that the right hand, this is the point I'm playing my low F. So you can't get your thumb on ready yet. So the move to practice is going from bar 26, you see one of those, the G one of those placed, jumping up but just placing four and two and having your thumb open but not on the string yet. And then play your four, play that fourth finger and then you can oscillate onto it. Okay, so you practice the move, let's play together from bar 26, left hand. One and two and three and four and 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 okay. Hope that wasn't too quick. Just watch again not to place the thumb yet when you go up to the high F so you can hop onto it. Let's try that again from bar 26 left hand a tiny bit slower. One and two and three and four and And even though when you're just doing left hand, you don't need to leave your thumb off, if you're practicing what your hand will actually need to do, which is the most useful thing to practice, then leaving it off so you can oscillate on. Okay, so we've done that, our F, then popped onto the other F. Then we've got G, D, three and one. And then we're gonna finish with D going down to G, down here. And I personally like to do that with a two and a four. You could arguably do it with one and three. The reason I like the two and four is because when we repeat, we're actually back on exactly those notes with fingers two and four. And tomorrow we are moving somewhere else, but it's not that far away. So it keeps your hand in a good overall position for where it might need to be next. Okay, so let's do in fact, let's do all of the left hand from bar 25. So what we learnt yesterday going into today. So we've got G, D, G, A, B, A, G, going to the C, to the G and so on. So left hand ready on G, D, G. This is bar 25. One and two and three and four and. definitely as fast as you ever really want to go with this and you might want to prefer might prefer to do that a bit slower okay I think let's do one more reminder on our right hand before we try this hands together and let's start our right hand with yesterday's learning as well so thumb on the G finger two and three either side of the red da, 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 da. okay one and two and three and four and
leave those grace notes as late as you can. Brilliant. Okay, now we'll try it hands together, but we'll go a little bit slower just to give you that thinking space. One and two and three and four and. but when I was playing that final bar for the first time the next notes are exactly the same ones we've just played so I don't want to stop them making their noise too soon because that last chord should fill that bar should be a dotted minimum so one, two, three, four and so I want to be as late as possible replacing to go back in for the repeat I hope that's all made sense, um, the sort of slotting them in, putting them back together, um, and I hope you're glad that we're doing two days, two bars at a time now, rather than a full four when it's this level of complexity. Okay, well done. <laughs>